Hello guys, and welcome back to Bike Geek. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix the memory management blue screen error on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. This issue usually appears as a blue screen that says, your PC ran into a problem, and it's often related to issues with your system's RAM. I'll be walking you through six to seven effective solutions that you can try step by step and fix the issue. By the end of this video, I'm confident that one of these methods will help resolve the problem for you. So let's dive in and see the best ways to fix the memory management blue screen error. To begin, make sure you are on the Windows login screen. Now press and hold the shift key. While holding down the shift key on your keyboard, click the power icon located in the bottom right corner of the screen. Then, still holding the shift key, click restart and confirm by selecting restart anyway. Once you see the please wait message, you can release the shift key. Your computer will begin restarting and shortly display a screen with several advanced startup options. From this screen, click on troubleshoot, then select startup settings. If the startup settings option doesn't appear right after clicking troubleshoot, first click on advanced options and then choose startup settings. Finally, click restart. Your PC will reboot and display a list of startup options. To start Windows in safe mode with networking, press the F5 key or the 5 key on your keyboard. Once the computer starts in safe mode, log in with your credentials. You'll notice the desktop looks slightly different and you'll see safe mode labeled in the corners. Now, click on the Windows search bar and type Windows memory. From the results, Select Windows Memory Diagnostic. A new window will appear. Click on Restart Now and check for problems. Your computer will reboot and launch the Memory Diagnostic tool, which will automatically start scanning your system's RAM for any issues. When you see the message, Hardware problems were detected after running the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. It usually means that the tool has found potential issues with your system's RAM. This warning is a strong indication that one or more of your memory modules could be malfunctioning or starting to fail. Faulty RAM can lead to various system problems, including frequent crashes, blue screen errors, and overall system instability. If this message appears, it's important to take it seriously and consider further steps like reseating the RAM sticks, testing each module individually, or replacing the faulty memory to maintain your computer's performance and reliability. Once the memory diagnostic test completes, your system will automatically restart. After it boots up, check if the blue screen issue has been resolved. If everything seems stable, then the problem might be fixed. However, if you're still experiencing the issue, the next step is to ensure that your Windows system and all device drivers are fully updated. Start by updating your Windows and system drivers. Right click on the start menu and select device manager from the list. In the device manager window, look for any drivers marked with a yellow exclamation mark, as these usually indicate faulty or outdated drivers. If you see any, right click on them and choose update driver. Even if there are no warning signs, it's a good idea to check critical drivers manually, like those on the display adapters. Next, you should also check for pending Windows updates. Open the start menu, type check for updates, and open the corresponding settings page. Click on check for updates, and if any updates are available, install them and restart your computer afterward. Next step is to check system integrity. Go to Windows search and type CMD. Open command prompt as an administrator. Right click on command prompt and select run as administrator. In the command window, enter the command SFC backslash scan now and press enter. This will begin scanning your system files for any corruption or integrity violations. The process may take several minutes, so be patient. After it's complete, close the window. Let each step run its course, and after that, check again if the memory management error has been resolved. If none of the previous solutions resolve the issue, you may need to reset your PC. To do this, open the Windows search bar and type Reset then select Reset this PC from the results. Click on the Reset PC button 
and when prompted, choose the Keep My Files option. This will remove all installed apps and system settings, but will preserve your personal files and data, so you won't lose any important documents or media. This is the last method, but in most cases, one of the earlier solutions should fix the issue before it comes to this. Once you've tried everything, let me know in the comments which method worked for you. If you have any questions or need further help, feel free to ask in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more helpful tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.